May I mention the amazing dead game of a Bible belonging to a U.S. Marine who landed on Guadalcanal 75 years ago. His name is George R. Bodner from Mississippi. And like all U.S. Marines, before leaving the U.S. on war service, he was presented with a Bible, courtesy of the United States President, Theodore Roosevelt. After fighting on Guadalcanal subsided, George Bodman departed to Australia on rest and recuperation, leave in November in 1942. While staying with a host family in Ballarat, Victoria, Australia, he presented his Bible to them. That family is now sending the Bible back to George Boardman's family through this ceremony today. Thanks to the U.S. Marine Commandant, 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 who is here for this ceremony. The Bible will make it journey back to the Boardman family in Connecticut, USA. To all those assembled, <coughs> my voice, I'm sorry, it's the way it is. I'm not suffering some viral disease. So, um, ah, that's better. That works. <coughs> Thank you. In January 1942, three young Marines, George, Vaughan, and Clive, were billeted with my grandparents, Fred and Janet Day of Ballarat. Amongst many others, I believe there were around 15,000 Marines in Ballarat at that time. They'd returned from action in the debilitating jungles of Guadalcanal for rest and recovery and retraining. Across Ballarat, families opened their houses and their hearts to these exhausted young men. The city of Ballarat loved them as their own. These friendly, generous young men who spoke with that warm sincerity. My father, Fred Jr. and his brother, Rob, would often take the lads to my mother's family farm hunting rabbits and my grandmother, Janet's roast dishes, restored strength to their bodies. Correspondence between many Ballarat families and families in the United States commenced at that time and continues to this day. In the Ballarat Gardens, there is a statue of Harold Pompey Elliot. Pompey Elliot was a general on the Western Front who grew up in Ballarat and was educated there. He was renowned for being in the front of the trenches with his men, dressed in a private's uniform so that he wasn't a target for snipers. And I immediately thought of Lieutenant, sorry, Lieutenant Colonel Merritt Edson who similarly was there with his men. Ladies and gentlemen, both perimeters of this magnificent Pacific Ocean have raised a generation of young men and women who as children had been annealed by the rigors of the Great Depression. Australians, New Zealanders, British and North Americans they were a magnificent generation. Tennyson's wonderful Ulysses carries a line which portrays these young people perfectly. When Ulysses describes his men as one equal temper of heroic hearts. My grandmother Janet passed 
to me when I was eight. A pocket edition of the New Testament issued to all troops with a forward by President Franklin D. Roosevelt. It was given to her by George Bodman prior to leaving Ballarat for the Pacific Theater. Shows evidence of the sweat and grime of being carried in battle in the breast pocket. Major General Smith. Major General Eric Smith. It is now time to pass this holy text to you on behalf of George Bodman and all of his comrades. Ladies and gentlemen, very briefly, uh, thank you to the Day family for uh, returning this to, uh, to the 1st Marine Division. It will occupy a place of honor inside of our command post, and we'll make sure that uh, PFC Bodman's daughter, Edith, in Connecticut, has an opportunity to come see it there in our command post. We're extremely grateful to great representation of what, uh, what people can do when they come together for a common good and the generosity of others uh, to those who need something when they're in search of a common good, and that's clearly what happened uh, between our family and yours. So on behalf of the Marine Corps family to your family, we are grateful. Thank you. Semper Fidelis.